Hello all. Welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, what are the challenges have you faced with Selenium and how did you overcome them? Let me answer. So these are few challenges that have faced with Selenium and have overcome them with some solutions. I'm going to explain in this session as part of the answer to this question. Okay. So first one, handling auto suggestive dropdown fields. Okay. So this was tricky a bit for me while automating long time back though. So I'll give you one example. I'll take you to this uh, make my trip.com. And uh, on this website, if you see, okay. So on this website, if you see, there is a, this field, Hyderabad to Bengaluru is there. I want to, you know, I want to change this, okay? Instead of Hyderabad, I would like to change it to Goa otherwise. So the tricky thing was, you know, I was uh, selecting this, okay? So when I'm selecting this, this field is coming, right? So what I did is I have, uh, you know, right clicked, but you know, this Hyderabad is going off. I don't know how to create a locator for this. I would like to click on Hyderabad. Would like to click on this Hyderabad, right? Then this field will come. But how to select this Hyderabad? When I click, it's going off. I, how to inspect that? When I right click, also it's going. Off. For that, uh, the solution I followed was uh, I right clicked and selected inspect option, and uh, I got this Google Chrome Dev Tools, and uh, in that I just selected this. instead of you know clicking this and then inspecting instead of right clicking and inspecting, I then. I opened this Google Chrome Dev Tools uh, with the F2L or whatever the way and select this option and now inspect. Now you see it's not going up and uh, I can create a locator. There's an ID locator for this. I can locate this, right? This is one way. So with the help of this ID locator, I just clicked on this uh, option. Then I got this, uh, you know, then I got this text field. This is an auto suggestive drop down field. You see, this field is an auto suggestive. Okay, when I click inside, you see there are a lot of uh, things coming here. Now I need to type something. Let's say I would like to type uh, uh, some place here, like uh, you know, uh, B A L I. Okay. So like this, I would like to type Bali here. So when I'm typing, if you clearly observe, okay, if it is something like Hyderabad, let's say Hyderabad, and let's let the Hyderabad selected. After clicking this, if like if I type Bali here. It's taking some time for these options to come. You can observe that. Okay, when I type B A L I, now not immediately coming. They look like they are immediately coming. These are Ajax calls happening here. After uh, after we type Bali, it is taking internally. It's taking some time, delay time, and then giving me these options. And now I would like to select this, you know. And after this, I would like to select this uh, Langar, Indonesia. For that to happen, after typing Bali, this option should come. And after this options come, then down arrow, Langor, and then press enter. Okay. So to automate that, it was difficult for me at the time. Uh, I um, Because uh, this, these things were failing because after I type only, this uh, Langor option is not there. Okay. So immediately. So I have to wait for these options to come. Okay. Then I have implemented some waiting mechanism. Okay. Some hard waiting mechanism at that time. And uh, I waited for some time for these options to come because they don't take so much of time though. And after waiting, then to select this, uh, again, there is a challenge here to select this option, okay? To select this language, I have to go down, right? I have to scroll down, how to scroll down this. Then uh, I solve this by, you know, implementing this uh, actions class keyboard keys, okay? I have uh, simulated the keyboard keys uh, with the help of actions class. So I, I managed to press down keyboard key with the help of Selenium, with the help of actions class. So how many times? Five times so that uh, this language option will come. Then I have simulated pressing the enter key with the same actions class commands. Okay. So this got selected. Okay. This, this is a challenges. Uh, these are some challenges I have faced while automating the auto sensitive drawdown field. Okay. So the other challenge is uh, handling the notification dialogs. For example, if I open this make my trade in an incognito mode, something like that, freshly, how does it come? Let's see. You see some dialogs are coming. You see. I would like to click on this uh, auto search to drop down, but uh, somewhere these dialogs were coming. So what I did was like, I tried, uh, you know, uh, you, uh, using dot click command in Selenium to click on this make my trip logo and many things I tried, but uh, this was not going away. Okay. There is no close option here, you see. 
or the, there are no close options here. So to close this particular dialogue and all, uh, so that I can work with this uh, behind the scenes uh, auto sensitive drawdown field and all. But this was not going away. So how to close this? Okay, how to close this? I was not. Uh, I was clueless. So I came up with an alternative because it doesn't have any, you know, uh, option to close this. So what I did is uh, I used the click command. Uh, I tried clicking on this make my trip like this, and it was going away. But when I automated this with the help of dot click command in Selenium to click on this logo, that is not working actually. So then I came up with a solution. Then I came up with a solution to simulate the mouse itself. Okay. Once the dialogue comes right out, I plan to simulate the mouse itself. Okay. So let me open this again. Take my trick. Let the see whether the dialogue comes or not. Yeah, maybe this options, any dialogues that will come, right? What I did is uh, in, to overcome that particular dialogue that used to come uh, instead of a dot click command from Selenium, I use actions, actions class uh, commands, okay, to simulate the mouse, to move the mouse onto this uh, make my trip. And then using the mouse, I have performed the left click. Okay, instead of normal Selenium click, I have performed mouse related click commands and all that worked out. Okay, the dialogue went out and then I worked with the auto sensitive problem. Okay, so to handle some notification dialogues uh, where I was clueless on how to overcome their dialogues and all, then that was one uh, challenge I have faced and the solution I told you already uh, to overcome that problem. Then issue with locators, okay? There was some time where, you know, uh, despite of me could uh, with locators, right? So uh, have created some locator and some somehow some scripts were failing and I investigated everywhere, okay? That was a complex automation project and uh, it took almost, you know, one or one and a half day of time for me to figure out that the actual problem is uh, behind the scenes is a locator. So okay? it's not about uh, how I wrote the automation script. I thought the problem is with the automation script, but ultimately I found is that there is a small problem with the locator because of which the script was not functioning, okay, working properly. And uh, to figure out that uh, the locator is the root cause for the automation script to get failed, it took me almost one day or more than one day, okay. So that, that is another challenge and uh, the way I solved it is uh, I kept on figuring it out like I did a de debugging process step by step I verified and uh, finally I found that uh, because of that particular locator the script was failing and I modified the locator and the script went well okay later okay but it took one day of time for me to resolve the problem and identify that the root cause is a wrong locator that is given okay then handling window based dialogues okay. So there were some situations where, you know, uh, like uh, a window dialogue is coming since Selenium is unable to uh, automate this window based dialogue. So I have, you know, I have to figure out that I have to use a uh, auto IT kind of tool along with Selenium to handle such kind of window based dialogue and uh, to upload a file and all. Okay. As part of the process, the example was like, you know, uh, the, the functionality that was not working for me was uploading a file. Okay. So when I'm trying to click on the upload button, a window based dialog used to come and uh, to overcome that, uh, have used auto ID. Then synchronization issues, uh, there was one sim uh, situation where, you know, uh, <clears throat> when I click on one option, that loading icon is coming, okay? A loading icon was coming and uh, have to wait until that loading icon disappears. Then actual buttons, some buttons used to, buttons will come, I have to click on that button, okay? After the loading icon, goes away, then I have to click on the button. I have to wait until this loading icon is completely loaded, okay, and uh, disappears. Then I can click on the button. So I waited uh, using the waiting mechanism in Selenium. I have waited for this loading item to disappear. And once it, uh, once the waiting mechanism is over, then I try to click on the button. Still, it didn't work out, okay? So maybe there is a fraction of time, okay, that is required still more. So what I did is instead of waiting for this uh, loading item icon to go away, I started waiting for that uh, button to be displayed on the page. Okay. So wait, uh, waiting for the waiting icon to disappear using the waiting mechanism Selenium didn't work out for me. So I followed it, an alternative approach where instead of waiting for the waiting icon to disappear, I waited for the button, actual button to get displayed on the page. So ultimately the waiting icon went off and loading icon went off, uh, went off and uh, I got the button displayed. Then I performed the operation on the button. Okay. That was another synchronization issue. I faced that was okay. Like this many challenges have faced. Okay, during my career and all, uh, but these are few things I remember and uh, I would like to okay give any of these things. Okay, if you feel that these examples are worthwhile and if you have faced similar kind of situations, okay, 
then you can give them as an answer for this question in the interviews. Okay, so that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.